Good morning, Fiona family. Happy Chappy here. Happy Thursday video devotion day. All right, team, here we go. This week, we've been talking about being awake in our life, being present to our life. And I vaunt that I should start by reading a little bit from a letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. St. Paul says, you are children of the light. You are children of day. So do not fall asleep as others have, but be awake and put on the breastplate of faith and love. It's beautiful. Fee and family, may we be awake in our lives. May we not be the crowd of pointing fingers and blaming, but may we be the love and light of Jesus for each other. Now, we might think that our ability to do this has everything to do with our life circumstances. And that is, that is a part of it. But I want to remind you that these words of love are written from St. Paul, who was beaten and imprisoned and in shackles and all for preaching love and inclusion. So his, where was that coming from? This, this, this fountain within him of, see, I'm doing something new, of this love, of this beauty. It's how he's responding to that life circumstance. You see, Fee and family, being awake in our life has everything to do with how we respond to life. Do we feed into hate and anger and blame of our culture? A culture that has fallen asleep with gadgets and iPhones and iPads. Or do we want to live awake and alive in the light? Answering that longing in our hearts for love. See, an example, we just got our report cards back. So will the respond to that be, yeah, I don't need school anyway, man. It's but man, blah, blah, blah. Will that be your response? Or can you respond to it thinking, you know what? This is an invitation to love. This is an invitation for me to, to reach out past that frustration, to reach out past that anger, and to, to reach out for help. Now this week was also the feast of the presentation of Mary. And in that, one of the readings, Jesus is asked, show us, who your mother, show us your mother. And Jesus points at his disciples. And he says, these, these people of love, these people, these, these are my sisters, these are my brothers. These, these are the mothers and the fathers. Because we are called to be sisters and brothers and mothers and fathers to each other. And if we truly live that, then I, I reach out to that student who's having a hard time and I say, I will help you. And then you reach out and say, I, I need this help. And then you are embraced. There's this beautiful story of this wave and this wave is in this ocean and it's like, woo, I'm a wave, boom. And all of a sudden it looks and it sees that it's going to crash into the shore and it starts freaking out saying, ah, I'm going to crash into the shore. What do I do? What do I do? And there's this other wave beside, beside the, it says little wave. Don't you see that you are not just a single wave, but you are a part of the ocean. Just as we are the body of Christ, as we are brothers and sisters for each other, helping, our, helping each other to be awake in our lives. So may you, when these difficult things happen in life, whether it's a report card or whether it's something else that happens, may you strive and practice putting on the breastplate of love and of faith and to reach out for help and to answer that call of help as brothers and sisters uh, and, and mothers and fathers. And Jesus also shows us how to be awake. And it's from the most strange place that he shows this. It's from the cross. Here Jesus saves us by showing us how to be alive in life. He is the forgiving victim. Jesus on the cross doesn't respond to what's helping, happening to him by saying, this is your fault, get him in a revenge, revenge my death. Nor does he say, oh, whoa, whoa is me, woe is me, this is everybody else's blaming. It's, Jesus says, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. A completely di different way of living, of loving forgiveness of the loving, forgiving victim. It's, it's a different way of living life. And in that way, we are called to live salvation of love and hope and beauty and truth for each other. 
Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Creator God, may we strive to be awake in our lives. May we answer the call of love that is within us, not by trying to numb out and fall asleep, but by practicing putting on our breastplates of love and faith, awakening to our true selves of love, which has been there always welcoming us home. And let the church say, Amen. St. Kateri, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Have yourself a jazzy, awesome, blessed, and sugary day, Fee and family. And from my soul to yours, rejoice. Love is alive. We got this. My drop.